Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you how to use Rvox by Waves. Waves has a lot of good plugins. This is a great plugin. This is the best plugin. And I know that because I use it on every one of my vocal chains probably for like three or four years. And a lot of professionals hype on this. It's super easy to use. So this how-to video is gonna be a little short, but I'm gonna show you some tips on where you can use it in your effects chain to make sure you're getting the most out of this plugin. We're over here in Logic. I've got this project pulled up, but this will work in FL Studio, Ableton, whatever, you know the drill. We're just looking at effects chain, what order they're in, and then how to use this actual plugin. So I'll play a little clip of this track. I put this out recently. I'll put this in the description. All right, so we're listening to these vocals here, and I'm going to show you how this works. If you're looking here, you'll see pretty familiar stuff, a gate, uh, compression, and gain. The thing is, there's not a ton of controls to control any of these things. That's because Waves did a lot of work to make sure that these are already pretty much fine-tuned for vocal effects chains. So the gate is going to be a super nice, soft gate, and the compression is going to be also a pretty soft compressor that is tuned to work with vocals. So instead of having uh, attack and ratio threshold and all these things, it's just this one slider to turn up or down for more or less compression. The further you have it down, the more it's going to compress and also add more gain back in. So if I started up here, very quiet, and as I pull down, I usually find myself living up here uh, with what I'm doing for this plugin. Uh, just kind of the last stop in my effects chain to catch anything that my other compressors or other effects might have missed to make it just a little bit more compressed and polished. This works really well for that. I almost always have it the last spot in my effects chain. So you've got your compressor here, which is kind of where I would start with this plugin. Get your compressor set. And then on this side over here, you've got your gate. I honestly don't even use the gain. Uh, I wouldn't really worry about that. I barely use the gate either. I wouldn't worry about that either. I usually use a separate gate. I've got it on the very tail end of a vocal chain that has reverb and delay on it, which I would actually recommend putting those in separate chains. But for whatever reason, I uh, had that all together on this project. But we'll listen to this gate and see how it sounds. Turning it up to find the threshold where the gate punches in. So you'll see around there when it drops below that the gate kicks in. Super gentle, super nice. And there's also a readout here, this red gain reduction symbol indicator uh, will show you the compression value and then also the gate so since i've got the gate on you can see that it's closed turn it back off and play it that uh, compression signal will just go back up to the top after it's done compressing so this is a super powerful plugin just because it's simple doesn't mean that it's not powerful i love polishing the vocal chains with this uh, effect now i usually have it at the end like i said to clean things up but you can have it the other place i would put it and i think is super reasonable is putting it maybe like right after one of your first compressors like super high up in the vocal chain that's where this gate's going to make a little bit more sense uh because this is a really nice gate and you're going to instead of polishing up a vocal chain you're going to be kind of creating a really good base for your other effects so say you've got a compressor and then this r vox compressor then adding things like um some sort of modulation some sort of reverb Reverb, some sort of uh, other de-essers or other things like that, it's going to give you a really good place to start with so you can start adding those things in in a way that sounds good. So hopefully that gave you enough insight on how this plugin works and will get you started on using Rvox. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll catch you on the next one.